Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to do the hard surface modeling. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, we are going to use this cube. So, just scale this cube along the different axes and give the proper dimension to it. After scaling this cube, you need to apply that scale. So, Ctrl A and then apply that scale. Then go to the edit mode and then you need to select these edges and then Ctrl B and then add a bevel on these edges. You need to give the proper bevel width for the bevel and add one segment bevel at there. Now you need to add the cylinder at there and we will go with the six words. So just add the six word cylinder and give the right position and right scale to that cylinder so we can easily use the boolean operation at there. Now just take it little bit up along the Z axis and then shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Z axis like this. And one more time shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Z axis. Now we want to create a design at there so that's why I just move it along the X axis. Then select all the three cylinders and then join them together. Now just use the boolean operation which is union. Okay, you can see we got a decent design at there and then apply that boolean modifier. So you can see there are double objects so you need to delete one. After that you need to merge the words with the proper merging distance. That's very important step that you need to give the proper merging distance at there. So that's why you need to play with that merging distance so you can merge the words. Yeah, it will take your time but you have to do it. After that you can select these words then right click and then connect to vertex path. Select these words right click and then connect to vertex path. And now the main important task is creating the right topology on the model. So that's why you can select these edges and Ctrl X to dissolve it. Then select these words, right click and then connect vertex path, then dissolve this. Now you need to use the knife tool and you need to create a cuts like this. If you didn't watch my tutorials on the knife tool, its new features in the Blender 3.0, then please watch it. Link is in the description and in the i button also. So just try to create a cuts like this and try to maintain the good chord based topology on the model. So here also you need to use the knife tool. So use the knife tool and create a cut like this. Okay, now the next step. Then you need to select that face and then press X and then delete the words. You need to do the same step with the remains and then you need to fill the gaps. After that you need to select these faces and then E to extrude it and move it along the Y axis. Now you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve these edges. And then you can add the necessary supporting loop cuts on the model. Then select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve these edges. We want to maintain the chord based topology on the model so that's why you need to select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. And then you can add another loop cut add there. So we can maintain the good topology on the model. So just select these edges and then double tap G for the edge slide. Just dissolve these edge loops and then here just you need to use the edge slide. Then add one more loop cut like this and same thing use the edge slide add there. And then you can add the supporting loop cuts on the model to maintain the form because in the sub modeling the supporting loop cuts are very important. Without these extra loop cuts, you won't be able to maintain the structure of the model. So that's why you need to add these supporting loop cuts. So here you can select the words and then right click connect to vertex path. And just try to maintain the good topology on the model. So your model will look decent. Just try to refine your model as much as you can. So just add loop cuts like this and then scale them along the z-axis and make them flat. And then you can add few more loop cuts at there. And do the same step with this loop cut also. Scale it along the z-axis and give the value 0 to make it flat along the z-axis. Then you can select these edge loops and then move these edge loops along the z-axis. Then select these face loops and press I for the insert operation. And then scale these face loops along the x and y-axis. And then you need to use the one more time the insert operation add there. So use the insert operation. And then add a necessary supporting loop cuts on the model to maintain the form. So 
and now you need to add the subd modifier and increase its level up to 2 and now you can see we are facing little bit of weird shading at there that's because of the auto smooth option you need to turn off that auto smooth option whenever you use the subd modifier don't turn on that auto smooth option so just turn off that auto smooth option now you will get a decent shading on the model so here also you need to add supporting loop cuts so just add the supporting loop cuts In this way you can play with your model and try to achieve the decent design on it. And now you can see the model looks decent. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.